Hey, everybody, it's a live shot from the outfield here at Gulls Field. There we are, Cooper Sazelski and Joe Whitbread. Uh, great to have you in, everybody, on a beautiful Thursday evening in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. This is called Beyond the Bases, brought to you by The Market in Bentley. We're glad you're with us. They've got us on here in the stadium, and we've got a very special guest. We'll have a chance in just a moment to roll the highlights, but Cooper Soselski, I've been getting that wrong all year long, but it's great to finally meet you, and welcome to Sylvan Lake officially. We'll talk about your ball game, but uh, welcome to Canada, eh? Yeah, thank you. Still getting used to the A and A and all that. <laughs> well, you're going to get used to a lot of uh, great hospitality. Sylvan Lake's a beautiful community. We'll talk a little bit about that, plus where you're from, Colorado, and how, what it's like being a ball player down there and then coming up to Canada. A little chilly for you, I think, tonight, huh? Yeah, this is not Texas. This is cold. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's watch uh, uh, what was a decisive victory for the Sylvan Lake Gulls tonight hosting the Edmonton Prospects. From your perspective, how did it start? And uh, you guys were clearly <laughs> on the bats early tonight. Yeah, no, I think we responded well from the loss on Tuesday. I think that was a wake up call for us. And tonight we were just playing our baseball, playing defense, hitting, pitching was on point, just all around good baseball. It's only opening week or just uh, after. I mean, we're into our second weekend in the WCBL across the league. What is Gulls baseball? How do you come up with an identity so fast? Obviously, you've got directives from Coach Chatwood, but what is Gulls baseball this year? Hopefully, we can win a ship. That'd be pretty cool. And just give the fans what they want, win some games. On a night-to-night -night basis, the goal clearly get more runs than the other team, strong, strong pitching, a returning veteran crew. Uh, in in the clubhouse and in the dugout, what's what's sort of the trajectory of this team as you see it, uh, both offensively and defensively? I feel like we built a good team chemistry right off the bat. First day, everyone was welcoming, so that helps a lot. And just playing the game we love. There was a lot of offense in this game. You yourself had a pretty good night. Three RBIs, you went three for four at the plate. Uh, you had some teammates that did just the same. Lots of RBIs out there and what was clearly a blowout victory. There's two more against the prospects, but individually, I know you don't like talking about yourself. Individually, this is a pretty good night at the plate. Yeah, I think I was seeing the ball pretty well last couple of games. I've just been seeing the ball well. It's a beach ball right now, so. Well, there it is, the handshakes, the high fives, the lights going off. Uh, a little chilly here at the ballpark, as you mentioned. What is it uh, in, in your language, 50? 50 degrees? Yeah, it's like 50s. Yeah, okay, we call 50s. this, what, 12? Maybe 12 degrees in uh, in Canada. Welcome back to the broadcast, everyone. My name is Joe Whitbread. This is Cooper Soselski. Soselski, what is it? Soselski. Yeah, that works enough. Uh, tell us about uh, where you're from and uh, why you're in Sylvan Lake. I understand Colorado, but you said Texas. What's your background? Yeah, so I'm from Monument, Colorado. It's a small town just out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. And then I go to school in Texas, University of Texas Permian Basin. It's a D2 Lone Star Conference. And I talked to my coach and asked uh, like where I could play for summer ball and he had connections out here so very thankful to be here. And what did you know? You will know more in a couple of months as you spend your summer in Sylvan Lake, Alberta, Canada. What did you know about Sylvan Lake or maybe Alberta? What We know a lot about Texas or Colorado as Canadians. We kind of grow up as, as your top hat in Canada. What do you get to know about us up here, if anything? Yeah, I didn't know much. I just knew uh, Canada was a big hockey town. And just, you guys get a lot of fans, love that. The support is crazy, so love to play here. So while we're talking about that, if you're a hockey fan, we know people listening and watching online are cheering for their Edmonton Oilers, which obviously are, are making all kinds of noise in the playoffs. You said Texas, so I gotta ask, we're in the third round, Oilers, Dallas Stars. Which one is it, Dallas? or Edmonton? Well, I'm an Avs uh, fan, so I'm going for the Oilers. Wow, if you heard it in the stadium, give him a round of applause. Coop's a uh, Oilers fan because he's an Avalanche fan and they obviously left in the uh, second round. Uh, Coop, uh, you've got people watching online on this broadcast likely and all season long. Will we have a chance to meet your family up here? Is there a Canadian holiday this summer, maybe? 
Yeah, no, my mom, my stepdad, and my dad will be coming out in like two weeks, so I'm sure everyone will get to meet them. That's great. And any siblings? I have a sister. She's 10 years older. Oh, okay. And she, would she be watching tonight? And are you allowed to say I love you to your sister? Yeah, I'm sure she's watching. I love you. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Well, listen, we're going to let you get back in. I know it's chilly where you come from. It's chilly where we come from, too. And there's uh, three more games this weekend. If you're watching this broadcast live and not the recorded version, the Gulls play a home game on the road. And that's a weird one. Tomorrow, the Edmonton Prospects are the home club with Toonie Dogs at the ballpark. So if you're in the uh, viewing range and you have a chance to grab a ticket, there are lots of tickets for this game because the Gulls are playing at Gulls Field, but they're the visiting team. So you gotta buy your tickets. Uh, Coop, I know you're back uh, probably in the lineup tomorrow. Is that safe to say? I assume so. I assume so too. It's great to chat with you, visit with you, and I can't wait for you to meet all of our favorite uh, Gulls fans. We have so many of them in this area. They're watching and they come to games and enjoy your weekend uh, at the ballpark. Thank you. Fantastic. There's a uh, visit, uh, first time this season, and no doubt not the last time with our player of the game tonight, presented by Snap Fitness in Sylvan Lake, Cooper Sizelski. <laughs> and this uh, show is brought to you by The Market in Bentley. Thanks so much to Brad and the team at The Market in Bentley for being a sponsor. What a night here in Sylvan Lake. It was defensive efforts like that one, but it was plate efforts like not that one, but some great defensive efforts. Uh, Cooper himself had three RBIs on the night. Your Sylvan Lake Gulls put in uh, quite the show, and we know Edmonton's coming back with a little bit more. A 17-1 home field vict victory, and another game Friday night, then Saturday against Edmonton, Sunday afternoon against the Okotoks Dogs. For all of us here at Gulls Field, thanks for joining us on behalf of the market in Bentley and your Sylvan Lake Gulls.